Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks and Ungainly Titan. And for those of you who are watching uh, this video on the day it comes out, a happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. Spent a good chunk of this afternoon trying to figure out where my video capture software kept failing. However, I think it was probably because my hard drive on the laptop that I used to capture the actual video images um, was running out of space. It was um, coming up red in the um, file, file explorer. So I've been uh, removing a lot of stuff off it and I'm just trying to get tomorrow to see how I um, see everything working. Um, other than that, nothing had changed, so I don't know if it's the most likely cause, at least I hope it is, otherwise uh, I may have a problem capturing stuff over the weekend, but I hope I'll be able to sort it out. Meanwhile, I've managed to get my um, Czech crew, one of them trained up, I have two Czech Tech Tree tanks. The, um, tier 3 and the tier 4, I can't remember their names now off the top of my head, and um, I think the tier 3 becomes the Panzer 38T in the German tech tree. This is the Skoda T40, a uh, tier 6 premium tank, and we're here on the remodeled port. This was my first game on the remodeled port, so basically they've gotten rid of the um, railway marshalling yard that used to I think start roughly where I am now they've increased the height of the hills down here but they've removed a lot of the bushes which I don't like because the bushes were quite handy and gave scout tanks actually something to do on this map as you can see from the map they've also added in a whole load of warehouses and other buildings and um, they've raised the height of these hills like I said as well so it's, um, it's a different map um, that said I never really had a problem with port a lot of people complained about the the railway yard especially because it really slowed you down driving across it. However, I suppose I'll have to play a few more games in it before I can really um, make up my mind as to whether the, what effect the changes have on the game dynamic of this uh, particular map. I'm in the Skoda T40, the tier 6 uh, Czech premium tank. Um, what do I think of it? It's I'm kind of getting used to it. It took a bit to get used to. Uh, gun handling isn't exactly remarkable. It's um, not terribly accurate, not terribly... Uh, the aiming kind of slow enough. And then it also has a uh, very weak armor. So it's really a tank that would benefit quite a bit from um, having, from basically keeping your distance, keeping it hidden. And it would benefit from having crews with, uh, with skills that improve gun handling and stealth uh, and view range and I don't have any of those at the moment so um, penetration isn't great with the regular rounds but it's more than adequate once you use the APCR rounds uh, or the heat rounds that come with it um, the premium heat rounds you can see there I was able to penetrate with the regular rounds the frontal armor the lower front plate of the T-150 when it was flat but as soon as he angled, I started bouncing off of it and had to switch to premium ammunition once the tank was angled. And even then I'm getting bounces. Um, that particular tank is reasonably well angled. Later on you'll see me get an opportunity to shoot at this one. And um, even though he is slightly angled, I am uh, still able to put hits through. The mobility and view range of this tank is pretty good. You're not really... Um, see an action on this particular map because um, port is a relatively compact map and you don't get really long lines of sight in it uh, it's an urban map so um, however the view range is pretty good and um, the mobility of the tank is excellent so um, yeah it's uh, once you get used to it I think you can make this tank work quite well and uh, it's a useful crew trainer so I've managed to get uh, some decent shots in, I've managed to get 8 uh, damaging shots, 3 kills, and our team have pretty much um, dominated the fight, like uh, there's only 3 enemy tanks left, and they're all over here at the um, eastern side of the map, so um, this should be straightforward enough for our team to just mop everything up. Um, yeah, this side of port now I haven't seen before, so um, coming down here, I don't know what other changes have been made. There's a, a Matilda here in front of me. There's a 
T3485 making a run on one of our tanks. Um, so I'm going to put a shot into him. Uh, track him and the Japanese heavy finishes him off. So I'm waiting for the reload. But the Matilda gets finished. So I'm going to see if I can get anywhere near the tank destroyer. So that's it. It's pretty much game over. So the check Tech tree tanks, the uh, was it LZ VS thirty eight and the um, I don't know what the next one up is. They're actually pretty good tanks. Uh, even stock, they're um, quite playable. Um, so they're quite a bit of fun. And you'll probably see more of them over the weekend as I play um, for the Czech side and the uh, March Madness. So how do we do? Um, Fourteen hundred damage, second class mastery. Three destroyed and uh, not a lot of assisted damage but you don't often get it in port. We came second by experience. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you again soon.